Hello guys, I'm here in Toilet Tower Defense and I'm going to be speedrunning Toilet City solo. So, let's get to it. So, I have been speedrunning before and I can do it in about 7 minutes and 33 seconds. So I'm basically going to be showing you how I do it. And I use a lot of epic units and exclusive units. So we've got a scientist camera in here, and if you don't know what they do, they give you extra income, giving you more money, and you can upgrade and you just generally get more money plus. Now I'm putting on auto skip because that means the waves will progress faster, and however this means more toilets will be coming, which sounds really funny, but it is essential to the speed run. So basically what I have here, the scientist cameraman will give me more money so I can place units. Then we have the camera helicopter which will send out these little troops that may not instantly kill them, but they will take care of them. They will do the job and take care of them. Now I kind of made a bit of a mistake but not much of a huge one is that I placed it here rather than around there. Now this would be the right place to place it pretty much in any other map but so that nothing can get behind them and that if they go at the back they will keep coming and coming if you're getting what I mean. However if you like if you place it here they make it fast, no troops will be coming there. But since this is Toilet City and I have good units, no one will make it this far. So, yeah. Alright, so see, so I just kind of think how it's going in. So I'm going to add more. You can get a maximum of four. However, you can't, they can Alright, so now I'll place that. It doesn't really matter if they die or not, because all I need them is to sort of be weakened so that my character can somehow take them out. So, wave 7 and 2 minutes. So, Toilet City goes up to wave 20. Now, this isn't necessarily related to the speedrun, but if you are trying to beat, I wouldn't necessarily fully rely on TV men. Don't have your entire full setup here, just TV men. Because, now they will do more damage, however, the last is toilets, they won't attack. They can't attack. It stops their attack. So I like using speed gun speaker helicopter because they may not do as much damage but they still do a large amount of damage as an AOE unit meaning it doesn't just like for example like these they don't just have to shoot and wait and shoot again actually this isn't going to do yeah that will die But, what I was saying, um, the AOE units, they don't have a cooldown of like shooting, they just, they're sort of like a flamethrower, they just shoot all at once and they keep firing. So that means they don't have a cooldown and they're really good for just lowering the health. Um, I Now, 
I would suggest wait having forest get because it might get too much for it. I will book it with my good one and done this. Well it seems pretty I have the double money so if I just don't wanna do desert because sometimes it can take a lot a bit long. Like sixteen ish minutes for this. Seven. Just get the hundred points and try and get a new unit. Which um, well a good unit. Okay, so basically, the strategy here is get the cameraman to. Give money so you can place these guys and sort of make sure that you don't get a large amount when like coming here so that I can get enough money to upgrade the camera helicopter is fast enough. Um they they will take care of us and they will kill the boss So these are they're the really good units. They're pretty expensive. I think it's like 3,000. But like in total, a little bit. It's like 1,500 to get that one. But So that's the speed run 7.30, so 3 seconds earlier than the last one. So that's how I speed run Toilet City. And it's pretty easy, you probably could use different units. But anyway, that's it for this video, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more. Peace.